All right, so now we're looking at a problem with uh, tension and multiple pulleys. So what we have here is we're going to have three frictionless pulleys. What we have here is we're going to have a mass here with this blue cable stretched over these guys like that and connected to the, the, like the non-moving ceiling. Uh, pulley A here supported with a red cable. And then pulley C here is using this green cable that comes down uh, off of pulley B and connects up here again to the roof. So if we know that this is a mass M, we'll just do this problem symbolically, then we want to find out how much would we need this mass to be for this system to be in static equilibrium. So first of all, the way we do this is we want to break down into uh, different free body diagrams. So first of all, we need a free body diagram of the box, uh, this box M here. Okay, so this will be our first free body diagram. Uh, and we're going to have, um, we'll just say, free body diagram of M. So if we draw it as a point, it's going to have its weight pulling down, say MG, and it's also going to have another force pulling up. You know what, we can even color code this. So we need this to be blue. So it's going to have this blue force pulling up, and we'll call that tension. Now, for this system to be in static equilibrium, that means every part of the system has to be in static equilibrium. So uh, that means that the tension in this blue cable has to equal this, uh, the weight of this mass, or the weight of this object. So we can just call this T for now. And we talked about in previous videos that tension is going to be the same always uh, in a rope, no matter where you are in the rope. So what we can do here is we can say the tension, we have tension here, we have the same tension here, and we have the same tension here everywhere along this row. We could put T's everywhere as long as it's along the blue line. All right, so now what we want to do is let's draw a free body diagram, uh, free body diagram for pulley A. All right, so uh, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have tension pulling down from this side. We're also gonna have tension pulling down on this side, or you could just simply draw one arrow with say two T. And then we're also going to have this one force pulling up in this tension. Uh, and the tension in this rope, you're going to have to see, is going to have to be 2 times T. Otherwise, this pulley wouldn't be in static equilibrium and it would want to move. But if, this red, if the tension in this red rope is twice as strong as this tension, then you'll see this will actually balance. All right, so that's all we need to do. Uh, now let's go and do free body diagram for block B. Okay, so now again we have two tension, two, oh, you know what, we should write this over here, this is 2T. All right, so now we're looking at block B, so we're going to have two blue ropes pulling up on this object, because the tension's always the same in this rope, so we're going to have tension, <laughs> I'll try and make an actual T, uh, and we're also going to have this other tension pulling up here, because the tension isn't the same in this rope, and then we're going to have one, ten uh, one tension in this rope, green, pulling down. And we're going to see that this green, the tension inside this green rope also has to be 2t, right? Because if it's not, then it won't cancel out these two t's pulling up. So that way it would be in, uh, pulley b would be in static equilibrium as well. So then we would also know because this is one single rope, this whole green one, that the tension pulling up on this side is also 2t. So now what we're going to do do free body diagram of C. <laughs> free body diagram of C. All right, uh, now we will have two ropes pulling up on this point, just like that. So we'll have 2T and 2T. And then we're going to have the one, the weight of this box pulling down. Or, actually, you know what, we should do that in purple. We're going to have this other tension pulling down. So if we look at this, for this pulley to be in static equilibrium, so far everything else is in static equilibrium, but for this one to be in static equilibrium, the tension pulling down on this purple cable has to be 4T. Otherwise, this would move up or down. All right, now the last thing we want to do, we'll just do free body diagram of the question mark box. And we're going to have that one tension in the purple cable pulling up, which is 4T. And we're going to have its weight pulling down, which is weight. 
we can even say this is equal to mg. All right, and so if weight is equal to mg and mg is equal to 4t, we're going to find out that this mass has to be four times bigger than this mass. So if we say that this mass here is 10 kilograms, for example, well, we could say that this one would have to be four times as much. We could say, well, this is going to be equal to 40 kilograms. And that's because we went through into the symbolically, and we can just finally plug in those answers at the end. Now, if you're curious, uh, what we can do, we can just quickly do this. We could say that 10 kilograms, that uh, mg would actually be 98.1 newtons. So we have 98.1 newtons, which makes this also equal to 98.1 newtons, which makes this also equal to 98.1 newtons. So if we have on pulley A, actually we don't even need to calculate A, let's skip right to B. If we have two tensions, tension 98.1 newtons pulling up, 98.1 newtons down, that means for this to be in static equilibrium, the tension in this cable has to be 196. 0.2, and this is also 196.2. And then we're going to find out if we pull up with 196.2 twice, then to balance this out to be in static equilibrium, then the tension in this cable, uh, we would have 40. This is going to be equal to 392.4 newtons. That's the tension in this cable. And then if we have that tension pulling up on this block, and it's weight pulling down, uh, we just divide the tension by g, so we have, remember, we would have 4t is equal to mg, so put the g over in the side, get rid of that, uh, and we'll find that the mass definitely would be 40 kilograms. So there you can do it with actual numbers, or you can do it symbolically, but that is how you calculate tension in a multiple pulley system.